Now, here is the old Outdoor Master, and here's the new Outdoor Master. So, what's the big difference? Well, you and I are gonna find out right now. Plus, I'll show you how the Outdoor Master pop-up beach tent measures up next to some of my other beach tents. Now, I bought this particular Outdoor Master beach tent last summer on Amazon for 70 bucks. To set it up, you first wanna lay it flat on the beach. You then want to make sure that these two bottom joints in the front are locked. Now I find that these two front joints don't lock together as well as these beefy Pacific Breeze joints. So once I lock them together, I like to wiggle the bottom legs just a little bit to make sure they're secure. Then you want to stand behind the tent, grab onto the two cords, hit that like button, and then raise up the cords and pull them up and away from each other until the hub clicks together. Then you just need to anchor it down by using the provided yellow stakes and filling up these sand pockets and you are done! Now setting up this new Outdoor Master beach tent, which I bought last week on Amazon for 70 bucks, is a slightly different experience. You first want to lay it flat on the beach and lock the two front joints together, just like the other Outdoor Master, but now we have a hub without any cords. So now, you want to grab onto the poles right below the hub and then slowly raise up the beach tent until the hub clicks into place. Occasionally you might get a twisty leg, which can be easily corrected by just twisting the joint back the way it's supposed to be. Now between these two Outdoor Master beach tents, the hub is actually the only update. To be honest, I'm personally okay with the cord system. Let me know in the comments down below if you prefer the hub with the cords or without the cords. I'm really curious to know what you think. Now beyond the change with the hub, these two Outdoor Master beach tents are exactly the same. They're both made with polyester, which provides UPF 50 plus sun protection. The storage pockets are the same. They both have three mesh windows with sunshades that can be raised up. Plus, if you need a little privacy, the extendable floor can be raised up by zippering up both sides and velcroing the top. And the dimensions are the same. I got 90 inches across in the front, a height of about 48 inches, 51 inches deep, and 67 inches long in the back. I found these dimensions to be roomy enough for two adults to sit inside it on beach chairs, but it did get a little cramped when we added another person. Now my oiliest pop-up beach tent, which I know has a very strange name, is about the same length in the front, but the Outdoor Master beach tent is more roomy. This is because the Outdoor Master is a foot and a half longer in the back, so the oiliest angles in more towards the back, providing less room on the sides. Now a beach tent that's a bit more comparable to the Outdoor Master is this White Fang beach tent that I bought on Amazon three years ago. It's actually about four inches longer in the front, but it's only 53 inches long in the back. So again, the sides of the tent angle in more towards the back. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, please hit that like button. And thanks again for subscribing to my Beach Gear Guy channel. Now my Pacific Breeze Easy Setup Beach Tent Deluxe XL is just a little bit more roomier than the Outdoor Master, but it is higher and more open in the front, so it does a better job accommodating three adults on beach chairs. Just to give you some comparison, here we are again sitting inside the Outdoor Master. I also want to point out the difference in the floor material. The Pacific Breeze has a tough, tarp-like flooring, and the Outdoor Master is made with a lighter polyester Oxford material that feels less rugged, but it does its job. Unfortunately, the zipper to my Pacific Breeze beach tent got really corroded, so I can't zip on the extendable floor anymore. Now here is my Outdoor Master next to my East Hills Outdoors Extra Large Instant Shader Dock Shelter, which is almost 100 inches long in the front. It's so big, I can fit most of the entire Outdoor Master pop-up Extra Large beach tent right inside it. Now to take down the Outdoor Master beach tent, you first want to grab onto the top and the bottom poles right here by the hub and then squeeze them together until the poles collapse inward. Just make sure you don't pinch your fingers when you do this. Sometimes the poles do get a little twisted or caught up in the fabric, so you may have to work it down a little bit. Now the directions want us to pull the ends of the poles out of the sockets and then fold in the poles. It actually does make folding up the tent a little bit easier, but I find it to be a bit of a pain when I set it up later on. So I've been leaving the ends of the poles in the sockets. 
You then want to unlock those two lockable joints in the front, fold in the legs towards the center hub, roll up the tent as tightly as possible, and then slide it back into the carrying bag. This sun shelter is 41 inches long when it's all packed up and weighs less than seven and a half pounds, so it is fairly portable. Here's how it measures up when it's all packed up next to some of its buddies. Thanks again for hitting that like button and I hope you take it easy at the beach.